Assalamu alaikum my dear students inshallah rahman today we will talk about clauses dear students a clause is a grouping word in english that contains a subject and a verb this means that a subject and a verb combination is must for a clause so clauses are also the these are also called the building blocks of sentences dear students these clauses are divided into two types independent clause and dependent clause independent clause is also called a main clause or principal clause and dependent clause is also called a subordinate clause the students dependent clause or subordinate clause is further divided into three important types noun clause adjective or relative clause adverb clause or adverb adverb adverbial clause okay the students this portion that's adjective or relative clause is in the syllabus of 12th class okay now I will tell you first of all that what's an independent clause my dear students an independent clause it's a part of a sentence which has a subject and a verb and has its own full meaning without any joining word or conjunction before it I will tell you uh, in easy words in simple words that an independent clause has a subject and verb combination and it has its own independent existence that's why it's called independent clause it does not need any conjunction it does not need any joining word that's why this is called an independent clause and it gives us a full meaning okay here i will give you an example you will succeed if you work hard dear students this portion you will succeed this gives us a complete meaning it has a subject verb combination that's why this part is independent clause this portion is independent class or principal class or main class but one thing you have to remember dear students that sometimes principal class does not give complete meaning exceptional cases there also in this in that case if there is no joining word conjunction before the class it will be the principal class so you have to remember one important thing that sometimes that principal class does not give a complete meaning however in that case if there will be no conjunction or joining word so that will act as a principal class here my dear students my hope is that i should get an award okay here my hope is no doubt it gives us an incomplete meaning but on the other hand it has no joining word it has no conjunction before it that's why it acts as a principal class but i told you that these are there are these are certain exceptional cases uh, okay now let's move towards subordinate class dear students subordinate class is also called a dependent class if we talk about the subordinate class this is actually a class which has a subject and verb combination because i have told you people earlier that the building block of the sentence class is the building block of the sentence not only this it has a subject verb combination it has a subject verb combination whether it is a dependent class or independent class okay now another important point it's a part of a sentence with a subject and a verb but verb should be finite my dear students here i will tell you that what's a finite verb note it actually verbs which have the um, past or the present form are called a finite verbs dear students verbs with tenses are finite a finite verb is always one word okay so three important points i told you about finite verb verbs which have a past or the present form are called finite verbs second important thing verbs with tenses are finite and a finite verb is always one word i will give an example played it uh, uh it is extra these are all finite verbs not only this auxiliary verbs in their present and past form are also finite verbs like is uh, am was where has have had do did does these are all finite verbs on the other hand here i will also told you about what's an infi this infi non finite verb non finite verbs are dear students also called verbals actually infinitives past participle and uh, gerunds are called non finite verbs like baking to bake singing to sing these are all fine non finite verbs okay 
now uh, i told you that a subordinate clause or dependent clause it does not give us a complete meaning first important point and second important thing you have to remember is that a subordinator is necessary a subordinator is uh, in the uh, is a uh, placed at the beginning of a clause okay here i will told you dear students what is a subordinator what is a subordinate uh, what is a subordinator here okay actually uh, this uh, i have told you earlier in my lecture when, when i uh, taught you complex sentences simple sentences and compound sentences uh, i told you that what is a complex sentence dear students a complex sentence is that sentence that uh, this uh, consists of that contains an independent clause and one or more dependent clauses and these uh, a dependent and independent clauses joined by subordinating conjunction here i will told you that what is subordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction actually is a word or phrase that uh, this joins dependent clause to an independent clause to yahan pe aapko clear hua hoga acche se to there are many subordinating conjunctions like here i have given here examples for as uh, this since therefore uh, when because if until so that whether while that extra these are all uh, subordinating conjunctions so uh, in simple words a subordinate clause or dependent clause is actually a part of sentence with a subject and a verb combination but it does not give us a complete meaning it always has a subordinator at the beginning and i told you that a subordinator uh subordinator uh, subordinating conjunction is actually a conjunction that joins a dependent and an independent clause and here subordinate clauses will often begin with subordinating conjunctions subordinate clauses are also called dependent clauses they begin with subordinate conjunctions which are the words that link dependent clause to an independent clause for example these huh? okay now here look here my dear my dear students examples if it does not rain comma i shall meet you if it does not rain this is a subordinate clause or dependent clause why because um, it starts with a subordinator if subordinating conjunction if is here used okay and uh, uh, it does not if it does not rain it does not give us a complete meaning it does not give us a complete sense it is incomplete in itself uh, until ye wala portion isko join na kare it gives us uh, then it gives us complete meaning so if it does not rain this is a subordinate clause or dependent clause because first of all it uh, starts with a subordinating conjunction if second it has a uh, subject and verb combination third important point it does not give us a complete meaning in itself okay another example though he is poor he is honest though he is poor this is a subordinate clause or dependent clause why because it starts with subordinating conjunction though and uh, second important point though he is poor it does not give us complete meaning no doubt it has a subject and verb combination okay so remember one important point that the clause with subordinator in the beginning of a clause is always a subordinate clause so jahan pe bhi aap dekhoge when a, uh, this uh, clause begins with a subordinator so this is a subordinate or dependent clause okay now uh, i told you here that uh, dependent clause or subordinate clause is divided into three important types noun clause adjective or relative clause adverb clause or adverbial clause today we will discuss about inshallah rahman this uh, adjective or relative clause noun clause and adverb clause we will discuss tomorrow okay look here dear students first of all look here <coughs> एडजेक्टिव और रिलेटिव क्लास इससे पहले आपको पता होनी चाहिए दैट वॉट इज एन एडजेक्टिव बहुत ईजी है डेयर स्टूडेंट्स एंड एडजेक्टिव इज अ वर्ड विच गिव इज इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट नाउन और प्रो नाउन और इन सिंपल वर्ड्स आई विल से वी कैन से दैट इट मॉडिफाइज नाउन और प्रो नाउन ओके हेयर डेयर स्टूडेंट्स एडजेक्टिव और रिलेटिव क्लास वैन ए क्लास एक्ट्स लाइक एन एडजेक्टिव इट्स एन एडजेक्टिव क्लास बहुत ईजी है so i will uh, tell you some important points that how you can support an adjective or relative clause in a sentence ab aap kaise pehchan sakoge adjective or relative clause in a sentence bahut easy hai dear students 
adjective classes uh, modify noun noun and pronouns i told you that earlier uh, i told you earlier that adjective modifies noun or pronoun here adjective classes modify noun and pronoun and they come right after the noun or pronouns so one important point you have to take care while identifying adjective or relative clauses that adjective clauses come right after the noun or pronoun they modify jisko ye modify karte hai noun or pronoun adjective clauses come after that okay another important tip they usually begin with relative pronouns तो दो इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स आपको याद रखने हैं एंड इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू पीपल दैट यू कैन इजीली सपोर्ट एन एडजेक्टिव और रिलेटिव क्लास फर्स्ट दिस एडजेक्टिव क्लासेस कम राइट आफ्टर द नाउन आर प्रोनाउनस दे मॉडिफाई सेकंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टिप दे यूजुअली बिगिन विद रिलेटिव प्रोनाउनस यहाँ पे मैं पहले आपको बोलूँगी बेटा व्हाट्स ए रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन वेरी ईजी रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन्स दी इज एक्चुअली हु होम वेच होज एंड दैट दीज आर रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस ओके सो ये आपको समझ आया होगा नाउ आई विल गिव यू एग्जाम्पल्स लुक हेयर माई डर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल हैव यू सीन द बुक दैट आई लॉस्ट हैव यू सीन द बुक दैट आई लॉस्ट डेयर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज नाउन बुक दिस इज नाउन दैट आई लॉस्ट दिस इज रिलेटिव क्लास वाई दिस इज रिलेटिव क्लास बिकॉज इट कम्स After the noun it modified, okay. So this is relative class. Ah, uh, one important point. Another important point that is a relative pronoun. So this is a relative class that I lost. This is a relative class or adjective class. Very good. Another important example. I have a friend whose son lives abroad. Whose son lives abroad. This is relative class. Why this is relative or adjective class? Because it comes after the noun it modified it comes after the noun it modified first important point second whose this is a relative pronoun i told you here that uh, this is a relative pronoun that relative clauses actually begin with relative pronoun so it's very easy whose son lives abroad this is a relative clause so uh, the two important tips which i told you that uh, first uh, these relative clauses begin with uh, relative pronouns first point and second point i told you that these come uh, after the noun or pronoun they modify so in two important points ko madhe nazar rakh kar aap easily uh, adjective clause or relative clause ko pehchan sakte hain support kar sakte hain okay here my dear student another example Mr Vyas who is very kind is my teacher here who is very kind this is relative class because it begins with relative pronoun who and second it comes after uh, the noun it modified okay another example mira whom i have asked to come over is going away uh, whom i have asked to come over this is a relative class or adjective class because it started with Uh, relative pronoun first important point and then it came after the noun it modified so it is a relative class whom i have asked to come over and the important example the umbrella which has a broken handle is mine which has a broken handle is mine this portion is relative class if anybody will ask you why this is relative class very easy because it came after the noun it modified so this is this is relative class and the important point is that it began with relative pronoun which so this is an adjective class or relative class my dear student this was all about today inshallah rahman uh, tomorrow we will talk about noun classes and uh, adverb classes thank you very much have a nice day